What's up everybody, we're back. We're gonna be going over my dividend portfolio and uh, going a little bit more in depth into what I'm holding and etc. So here we go. Thank you to whoever signed up, I appreciate it. Hope you got your $10 too. <clears throat> I got mine as well as I uh, put another $10 in my account. Um, just to help balance out my portfolio because I did add some new things. So right now this is what we're holding, uh, about 20 stocks. Um, and that's just kind of invested and I'm gonna keep putting into it and letting it grow. Um, but today my focus is gonna be going over the REITs. So REITs are a realty uh, investment trust. Um, cool thing with REITs is they got to pay out 90% of all profits to their shareholders. So their dividends are normally a lot higher than what you'll get on just a normal stock. Um, so like this dividend yield is 12.9%. So it pays, you know, roughly 16 cents a month on dividends. Um, and you can, you can look over all of them. I'll put down in the description, the symbols for all of my holdings. Um, and right now I'm in about, I think, eight. No, I'm in nine. Nine different REITs um, just to get that dividend rolling because the, the first goal is to make $10 a month for the auto investment so that it auto invests every month at least $10 on top of whatever uh, money I'm putting into my account. So that's kind of the first goal is just continue to grow my portfolio as a whole and get to that $10 threshold and with your guys' help and y'all signing up, that's going to get me there a whole lot faster. Um, again, I'll put a list down in the description uh, as to what all I'm holding and uh, if I have any changes, which I don't think I'm going to have any changes anytime soon. I'm pretty, pretty set on what I need. Um, this is a uh, this is just going to be an ETF that follows the S&P 500, which means that on average it's going to grow about 12% annually, I think is what the market does, or something close to that. I'm not 100% sure. I would have to go back and look. But uh, that one just kind of holds, you know, 5% of my overall equity so that I hedge some of the more risky investments. Um, this dividend domestic dividends. Um, these are some Vanguard and Wisdom Tree um, funds that is a, let's see, how do I get to that? It's, uh, if you go through here and we go Expert Pies, uh, income earners right here, domestic dividends, that's what I went with. Uh, risk is medium, which I mean, my risk tolerance is pretty high just due to the fact that my time horizon is extraordinarily long. I'm only 22, so I got plenty of time to lose and rebate, remake my money back. Um, so that's why I just did did a little a little bit. Let's see, I did 2% in domestic dividends just because it's a, a higher risk to me than some of my other investments. Um, as well as I haven't looked into those stocks as much. It's just an expert pie, so I figured why not? Let's throw it in. This is what this whole portfolio is about, is dividends. And so uh, I went ahead and put it in there anyways. Um, let's see. Uh, so some of my other stocks, these are, these four right here are going to be my quarterly shares. They pay out quarterly, which is Walmart, AT&T, Apple, and Microsoft. Uh, Walmart, they pay a dividend yield of 1.77. Uh, so uh, approximately their yields are a little bit off, I think. Uh, but it will pay me about a dollar and fifty cents um, a year, which means right now with my current shares, I'm gonna make fifty three cents a month a quarter. I don't think that's right, but that's okay. Divide by four. Yeah, that's not right. That's how much I would make if I had a whole share. Right now, I only have point five, but you would make fifty three cents a quarter, and it pays out two dollars annually. Um, so that's pretty good. Um, let's see, we'll go to AT&T next. AT&T pays about 5% dividends, um, which that's what I aim for is at least 5%. Not go too light, but not go too heavy. It beats inflation as long as they're growing their dividends. 
um, which if we go over to Yahoo Finance, then let's see, let's go AT&T. Should have had this pulled up already, but that's okay. Um, how do I look it up? I'm not 100% sure how to look it up on there, but um, <laughs> historical data, that's what we need. So these are historical prices, dividends only apply. Oh, this only shows us one year of what they actually paid out, but it's $2.04 a year, which is spot on to what they said they're going to pay out. Uh, there is a way to look up their uh, dividend growth, um, which you can use with their PE ratio. Um, they're only paying out about 15 of what they could, so that's pretty good. Um, I mean, as long as that's fairly low, then you should be all right. Uh, that just means they're not giving all their money away and they have some money set aside, basically. Um, but that's that's kind of why I pick AT&T. Plus, it's a phone company. It's a phone company I have. I enjoy them. Now we're on to some of the technology shares. Apple. We're going to talk about Apple. I like Apple. Apple's pretty good. Uh, you know, it's Apple. Almost everyone has an Apple or Android and I like Apple, so I bought some Apple. Uh, they only pay out a dividend of about 1.31% per share, which isn't great, but it's, you know, still $2 and I'd say 50 cents or so, something like that. I don't know, I probably have it over here. Apple, $3 and 8 cents. So 77 cents a quarter per share, which I only have 0.02 because it only holds 5% of my overall portfolio. And then last but not least, we have Microsoft. Um, you know, kind of the opposite of Apple. You got Windows and Apple. <clears throat> Microsoft pays out 1.4%, but their share cost is much lower, so their overall payout is only going to be $2.04. But it's still $0.51 cents a month. So, you know, or $0.51 cents a quarter. So it's not too shabby. Um, then these three up top are my monthly paying dividends, which these three and um, some, I think two of my REITs are monthly paying dividends, which is the ones I need to get up to 10% as well as I had it highlighted, but then I had to sort it alphabetically because it was bothering me. Um, I'll fix that eventually. Um, but all the ones on the left are ones that pay out monthly. So currently I have seven shares that pay out monthly and then there are seven stocks that pay out monthly and then the other 13 pay out quarterly so my goal is to get these monthly shares up to ten dollars a month which currently I'm making a dollar and fifty seven cents a month so I gotta increase that by about mm, fivefold or so but we'll get there in time in time uh, my goal for this portfolio is to put a hundred dollars a month in and just continue letting the dividends reinvest, auto invest I have on. If you're wanting to withdraw money from M1 Finance, make sure you turn auto invest off when you sell your shares. Otherwise, when you sell and it has auto invest on, it's going to put it back into your portfolio. And then you have another taxable event, which you probably don't need. But that's going to do it all for today. So I hope you guys have a great day and best luck on all your future endeavors. See you next time.